Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I made these Hulk cutouts that stand up. And the way I made them stand up was with this uh, piece of cardstock in the back. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this. So first I'm going to go to Google and then I'm going to type up the Hulk. And I'm just going to go ahead and grab an image from Google. And I'm going to go to images and they have, uh, I'm going to put PNG. That way you get a transparent background. And as you can see, they have a variety to choose from. Uh, so you could go ahead and choose whichever one you like. But I'm going to go ahead and choose this one, which has his full body. And I'm going to try to look for one that has a transparent background. So these with the squares in the back are not very transparent. This one looks transparent to me, so I'm going to go ahead and download it onto my computer. And after I download it onto my computer, I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop this image onto my Silhouette software. So I'm just going to resize him a little bit and then I'm going to go to my paper settings and I'm going to change it to to a horizontal view and then I'm going to add the registration marks that way I just know right off the top what space I'm dealing with and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the lower half of his body I'm going to make sure the lower half fits on this page and the upper half fits on another page so in total I'm using two pages to do this whole two eight and a half by eleven pages to be exact After I get a size that I'm happy with, I am going to zoom in and I'm going to go ahead and cut him by the waist because this is a perfect spot where I don't think the cut will be noticeable. So first before I cut him, I'm going to go ahead and trace him, trace his body and then I'm going to uh, click on the trace and detach feature. That way there's this invisible square around him that you can't see but it'll interfere while I'm cutting with while I'm cutting him in half. I know it sounds weird, but and you can't really see it um, until I you see I'm highlighting over it with my mouse and then I'm going to delete that. And now that's out of the way and now I can cut him. I'm going to go ahead and grab my knife tool. And then you just want to find a good place to cut him. Like for example, I am going to cut him cut through his waist, but I am also following like this black um, outline where it splits from his pants to his green skin. I think it's a perfect um, place to cut him. I don't want to cut him straight across um, because then you'll easily be able to tell that he was that he's not one whole piece that he's cut into two. So it's almost like a puzzle that I'm doing here where I'm um, making him look like these two pieces fit and you can't you can barely see the crack you'll still be able to see it if you look really closely but when it's printed out but um you just want the goal is to make it less noticeable So after I'm done cutting the Hulk in half, I am going to change my page back to the vertical layout. I only had it in the horizontal one so I can easily cut him up. 
Um, and so now I like to print them like this. So before I print them, I'm just going to make sure that they're well positioned on my paper. And so this top half was a little bit harder, so I had to like move the image around to make sure he wasn't sticking out of my registration mark lines or else he's not going to cut very well. So I just had to move him around until I found um, a good position so he can print out. And I just found that he fit best in a diagonal way like this. So that's just the way I left him. So now I'm happy with how he is. Now I'm just going to go ahead and trace over him. I'm going to fully trace over him and then select trace around or trace outer edge and then this is the cut line so I'm gonna put him back and then that's how I'm gonna print him and then after I print him I'm gonna go ahead and cut him on my silhouette and then I'm just printing him on 80 pound cardstock I'll have it linked down below it's a super smooth cardstock I really like using it And then I'm just showing you guys a quick clip of how my silhouette cut around him. It was a simple cut and it was very easy and fast. And this is how he came out. And so I did the same thing for the bottom half. I traced over him and I fully traced over him. And then I just selected a trace outer edge. And then I'm just quickly showing you guys how he fits like a little puzzle and you can hardly tell where he's cut. So I'm going to show you guys how I reinforced this image. I'm not completely done. I still have one step left. So I'm going to remove my registration marks. Then I'm going to select on my offset panel and I'm just going to give him an outer thickness. I don't remember the how much what the number was. I can't see it because I'm editing right now and it's my screen is kind of blurry while I'm editing. So um, you can see it right there, the thickness that I'm giving him, but this is optional. You can do whatever thickness as long as it fits on a 8.5 by 11 paper. Um, and I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. But he's going to have like this, this backing, this white backing, which will reinforce um, the paper. So you'll have like two pieces of cardstock. You'll have a white uh, piece of cardstock in the back, which will kind of hold him together with the bottom piece. And he'll go something like this. So that white backing, it's um, kind of necessary. So you can hold them like this. Um, and then so as long as he fits on this eight and a half by 11 paper, you can do it whatever thickness you want. So he fits right there and then this piece here fits right here too so I can go ahead and cut them on my silhouette machine. And I'm just using pretty thick cardstock for the backing since I don't have to print on it and it doesn't have to run through my printer I could use whatever thickness. So I'm using 110 pound cardstock and I'll link that below.
So after I have all my pieces cut out, I'm gonna lay him flat and then I'm gonna stick a little piece of tape. Not too, I'm not gonna press on the tape too hard because I don't want the tape really stuck on there. But on the back, I do want the tape on there. And I'm gonna press it down and it's kind of to hold him together while I glue him on the white backing. And now I'm just grabbing the white backing and placing it behind him so I know where it goes on there. I'm trying to put it on there as straight as I can. So the white backing should should be, there should be two pieces and they should be overlapping each other. So I'm going to carefully remove the hole from off the top and then I'm going to tape down the white backing pieces. That way they're not moving around while I'm gluing him on top. So that way they could be still and I can glue him now and the white the white pieces from the back won't be moving and shifting around. And so you could use any glue that you have on hand or that you want, but I like using this tacky glue. I just find it leaves less uh, bubbles or warping um, as long as I press on it with something when it's drying. It won't leave too much of like like warping on my paper. Or it won't wet my paper as much. I just gotta spread it around really nicely and then once I lay it on the white backing I'm gonna go ahead and press. Um, I'm gonna leave some heavy stuff on top of the hulk that way there's no warping on my paper. So I placed a bunch of heavy uh, bugs on top of him to so he can dry flat. Okay, so this is the last step, I promise. This is the thing that's going to hold him up. This is obviously optional, but if you're going to this would be great if you're going to put him on candy tables and you want him to stand or as centerpieces. So I left a link in the bottom of the template for this little um, stand. It's really simple. It's it's nothing complicated. Um, you just print out the template and then you trace it on some cardstock or heavy paper and then um, you fold it or whatever and then uh, it kind of goes on there like this and the way I just glued it on there was with using hot glue uh, and I just kind of I was trying to figure out how this thing would go on there and I didn't want it showing too much from the front so I kind of had to figure out it took me some time but I figured it out and then I just went ahead and glued it with using my hot glue gun And that's pretty much it guys, that's how I make this whole cutout. Um, and it's perfect for candy tables, you can stand it upright on any table that you need for decoration or for whatever Avengers party you're having. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you guys learned something new. And please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, I have a bunch of videos and I do a bunch of um, similar uh, similar decorations like this one and please don't forget to like my video it really helps me out and please don't forget to follow me on my Instagram page at creative goods and thank you guys so much for watching